All right, I'm back in Ventia from vacation, and I gotta say, it's good to be back. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, today we're coming in hot with episode 53 of the Minecraft Let's Play. So grab your snacks and drinks, and remember to like and subscribe, because today we've got to finish the ruined castle that we spent the two last episodes trying to build. And so without any further ado, let's just get going and get right into it. All right, welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we got quite a lot of work to do here on the castle. We got all these walls to build, these ones over here. I'm also a little bit unsure whether or not I want to make some changes to the layout here, whether I want to add a few more buildings, things like that. I'm thinking this section over here, we could have another larger building. But I figure I'm going to figure all those things out together with you guys because I'm kind of out of blocks. I went on vacation, as you guys know, and I have a few blocks, like a little bit of deep slate, but... I'm I think I am pretty much out. I've got some over here, but I'd really like to collect a little bit more. So our first order of business is definitely going to have to be collecting some deep slate. But before we do any of that, I just kind of want to take a look around here. It's been such a long time since I've just walked around in my world, and it's getting to be kind of nostalgic. What do you guys think? We've actually passed the one year anniversary of me building this world. I started the same date 116 came out, which was sometime in June last year. But my very first world tour started way back down here in the forest and that was I think the 20th of October so we still have a little bit of time before the one year anniversary since the first video and as you guys may know we're coming up on the next world tour here really really soon so I definitely need you guys to suggest which video number we should make the world tour I mean I've been thinking about episode 55 episode 60 probably one of the two and ooh, I love how that looks from over here I actually haven't checked this out from this angle whatsoever so anyway aside from just giving me suggestions on when I should give out the world download and when we should do the world tour along with that i need you guys to give me suggestions of what you would like to see built here in the world so i'm not just talking like tutorials of stuff that already exists or anything like that i'm talking like what new things do you guys want me to generate here in the world and obviously one of the things i think you guys are definitely going to want me to do is finishing the mountain back here which is a project that i really want to start like right after i finish the castle here so i wouldn't worry too much about that if i were you guys but definitely tell me what you want to see going on here. If there's anything in specific, anything that I haven't mentioned before, I'm open to suggestions, guys. So let's go ahead and start off by going to the 1.17 area so that we can collect some deep slate and just start messing around with the castle up there. And here we are. Let's see how much of this place I've actually dug out. Ooh, that's actually kind of a scary drop. We survived, but I've done a lot of digging over here. But as you can see, there's still deep slate. So guys, get ready for a block collecting time lapse because I really need some resources. Let's get into it. And this just goes to show, guys, it takes so many blocks to build these massive projects, and it takes me a lot of time to collect these ones. As you may know, you can't insta-mine Deep Slate at all, even with Efficiency 5 and Haste 2, which is what I'm running right here. And so it just takes a ton of time, and I resorted to using a lot of TNT for these Deep Slate pockets. Okie dokie, we are back home, resources are collected, and it's time to finish up this part right here, and I gotta say, I got a few ideas while breaking down these blocks, and we should have enough blocks to get us through this, if not, I mean, we can always go back, I stored a bunch of blocks over there, so we're going to be fine. Now here is what I'm thinking, this place right here where we want another tower, we probably still want that tower, and I think we want to make this one pretty big, in fact, we probably want to make it just a little bit bigger than it already Already is. In fact, let's just bring this up a bit and see what it looks like in between all these things. We don't want to mess up the sight line from down there. I think that's going to be the most important view, so uh, let's just try something here. Yeah, I think a tower right there is going to be fine. I think one thing that's seriously been brought to my attention is the fact that this tower right over here, the refurbished one, looks a little bit too whole. Like, I think we need to mix in a bit of leaves and some of these cobblestone and tough blocks just to break it up a bit, especially towards the bottom here, so it fits in more with the rest. But for now, I think we can raise this tower up maybe like five more blocks. I mean, I think this should be a pretty good height. It's going to be about as tall as this thing when we put everything up, but uh, it is kind of low compared to this section right here, but that might not be too bad. Okay, so let me just put a few details on this thing and we'll work on the spire together up top. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the view we have from down here, and we definitely have to ruin this one a lot more, but I think I wanna put a different kind of spire on top, sort of mix up the elements we have so far. What I think is good about this setup, and the reason I wanna put a building over in this space instead of this space is because right here, as you can see, we've got the rock coming up with all of this stuff, so we don't wanna obscure that with another building. And of course, I gotta say, I always love how this looks. Like, I love coming around here and just walking on this path and watching this stuff all the way back in the fog, man. That looks so awesome. You know, it's times like this when I really appreciate that I started building in this world. You know, I hope you guys feel the same way. Okay, now how do we want to do this? Well, we could do something kind of like this. Mm, you know, this gives me a pretty good idea that I really want to try. Could be a bust, but you, sometimes you just got to try things, okay? Trust me, guys. I want to make this more of like an open air type tower. I understand that that sounds kind of weird in concept, but I think you'll understand what I mean when I do this. Yeah, although it does look a little little bit too bulky here up top. What can I do about that? All right, something like this. And then imagine we have a spiral staircase coming up from here. Hopefully we don't have a ton of mobs down there. I should probably light it up. Okay, but now what do we want to do up here? You know, I'm trying to not make this too elaborate, but I've got something really important in mind here up top. So mm, let's see if we can recreate this. You see, as you know, I really love this style of tower. And I think it would be really fitting if we put this top on top top of one of these types of towers right there. I think it could look really awesome. Now, obviously, we're going to mix in a whole bunch of other blocks, but I think think something like this could be great. Uh-huh. I think I'm in love with that. Obviously, I used a lot of the same blocks up there, so we're gonna have to mix in some of the mossy, some of the darker blocks, but I think I, in general, like the concept of using lighter blocks towards the top. But yeah, I think that looks really awesome. Now we just gotta ruin it, but before we do that, let's worry about all the walls and maybe this little tower right here. I got an idea for that before we start just sort of ruining and junglifying everything. So, okay, this little tower down here, I don't really know exactly exactly how I want it to look. The one idea I have, if I can get up here, is that I kind of want to connect it to over here, and I want to connect it with some kind of arch that preferably has been broken down in the middle so we can put some rubble down here as well. So let's start off by bringing this up a bit. We need it to be maybe like four blocks taller so that we can have a fairly big arch right here. Mm, you know, I'm not quite sure if this is the kind of arch I want. Maybe if we make it a bit pointier up here or add some spikes, that could actually do it. You know, at this point, I've spent way too much time on this arch, so we're going to leave it be and move on to the tower and the walls here. I think I might want some kind of little spire here. You know, standing over on this side right here, this feels really, really epic, and I think it's going to look a lot more awesome when we ruin it, but I've had this idea over here that we're going to put a building in between these towers. Let me show you. Right? So some kind of diagonal building right here. I think about this size. Any bigger would kind of eclipse the towers here, and we want them to be the main part of the skyline. So let's try to bring this back a little bit and see how big we want to make it. Okay, changes have been made. I've made a little bit of a space in there. I don't want this building to be too big because back in the day, it feels like it would have been difficult to create very large spaces, but we've got this from the outside. And in fact, I also put a roof on it and this side as well. So it's not actually the biggest building and we're going to have to put a gate somewhere, probably right here coming up from the hills. So we're going to have to fit that in somehow and all these walls. The one thing that I keep thinking is that this tower could be possibly a little bit too big. We might have to change the top on it. The top is just a little bit too bulky and doesn't quite fit in with these other towers, so we might have to do this to the top of this one as well. But before we worry about any of that, let's start building these walls. So I'm just gonna go into time-lapse mode, get these walls built, and I'll come back to you guys and talk about what we're gonna do with the courtyard. So let's roll that time-lapse, oh yeah. Okay, here we go. We've got the final product, the wall here. Obviously, we need to break it up and texture it a lot. We've got this one over here, which is a lot more ruined. Basically, the idea is that anything that's on this side of the castle is a lot more broken down, as you can see, than this stuff over here. But the next thing we need to worry about is obviously we need an entrance to get into this area here, which probably could have been like the throne room or something. We also need to add an entrance over here, and I think maybe somewhere like right here could be fine so that we can make a staircase going, well, all the way 
way up there. So here's what I'm thinking. We add another part of the road here. Maybe we add a tree or something next to it, but let's not get distracted and focus on the main gate here and put it like right in the middle, I guess. Okay, I just did something like this, a little archway. I think there would have been a gate here, obviously, in the past, and you would have gotten a view of this tower when it was actually whole, but now they just use it this way so you can access it more easily. Now, from here, we need a way to get up over there, and I figure the most natural place to put a staircase is right here where the mountain kind of spirals up. Now, okay, obviously, just looking at this, this is going to be a really dangerous way to walk, but it's the only way I can fit this in, and I think it kind of fits it being old-timey that it's very, very narrow and thin. Okay, I think something like this is going to have to suffice, and we're going to have to add a lot more greenery into this place, but we'll worry about that once we have it all ruined. Let's make an entrance over here. Okay, I'm really liking this. I mean, obviously, we need to put something in here. I think you guys need to leave a suggestion of what we should put in here, but for now, I think we got to fix this tower, actually. I know I fixed this flag just one episode ago or something, but yep, we're tearing it down so that we can build a new tower. Now, we're not going to completely redo the whole tower. That would be totally ridiculous. We're actually just going to redo this top portion so that it matches the rest of the castle a bit better. Okay, we've now decapitated the tower, and so we just need to put a topper on it, and I think something just like this is going to make the castle a bit more consistent. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about this, mostly because the bottom part here is super bulky. But at this point, I don't don't think there's too much we can do about that and as soon as we texture it we can cover it with a lot of leaves and stuff and maybe it won't look so out of place i'll figure something out while we do that but i do think it really improves the skyline up here of the castle it makes that tower a bit less bulky up top and everything looks a bit more coherent okay so there's like a concert going on outside and they're blasting really loud music i hope it doesn't pick up so i get dmca that would be bad anyway i really love how this arch is right here especially with this render distance when you can see the castle. Overall, I think it's awesome that once you spawn in, you can just see it right there. This is looking cool. Now, I think since I made this topper right here to match that one when it was all big and bulky and stuff, we do need to manage it a bit, make it a bit smaller, like a broken down variant of this, but that should be easy. Anyway, I think it's time that we get to some ruinating and greenificating in here, because, uh, I mean, we can't just keep it all grimstone like this. Did I just say grimstone? It's deep slate. You, you seriously can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? Either way, let's do what we always do and hop into time-lapse mode once again and get this place finished. Oh yeah. And starting this time-lapse off, I decided to add some andesite to the mix just to make it pop a little bit, make it lighter towards the top of the gradient. The truth is that as soon as I start mixing in all these blocks, the place starts to kind of mix in with the environment. And at first, I wasn't really crazy about this because I love the way the deep slate sticks out and contrasts with the stone, but I ended up being very happy with the final product in the end because it's supposed to blend in. It's supposed to be a ruined castle, as you know, but I, I kind of love how you have to get close and really look at the details to be able to tell what it is. This blending in also made it really important to make the skyline unique and stand out. But as you can see here, I started ruining the part that we said was refurbished before too. But this way, it just blends in better with everything else and fits the theme. Otherwise, I think the topper looked a little bit out of place and more like the modern style in Ventius. So it was nice to go back and change it. Other than that though, I am so tremendously happy with all this texturing that I did. I think it looks awesome. It makes it look ruined, weathered, just the way it should be. And I did mention earlier that I may want to change the top of the ruined tower that we built in the other episode, since I made the topper of it kind of bulky to match the old tower that we recently changed just now. So I went ahead and did exactly that, and I made sure to make it really broken and kind of half fallen off the same way the whole tower is to make it kind of as ruined as possible, since it's the only tower that's really falling apart. After that, it was then time to do a little bit of greenifying to seal the deal here with the texturing and oldifying. The idea here is to make it look like nobody's touched it in a really long time, like 200 years, and for the wilderness to have overgrown, well, wildly. I made sure to place way more of the leaves towards the bottom because that way it sort of blends in seamlessly with the grass down below and we don't have that harsh line to separate the two. For this archway here, I also decided to place a few rose bushes on the pots on top of the leaves the way I usually do, just to add a little bit of color because this place is very gray and green and that's about it otherwise. So the red adds a nice little pop of color. And for the courtyard here, I decided to fill it with a bunch of trees just to show that a lot of time has passed, enough for fully grown trees to grow. But if you guys guys have any suggestions for the courtyard, definitely leave them down below. Anyway, I have tons of angles to show you guys in first person, so I will see you on the other side. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the other side, and I want to show you guys exactly what this place looks like down here from spawn now that it's finished. As you guys know, when you spawn into the world here, you spawn very close to these signs. Welcome to the kingdom of Ventia, outside of the tent here that we made, and you see this right off the bat. And before, we've only really had these mountains and this little arena right here, but I think this is the perfect thing to see from spawn. Now, the reason this is doubly perfect is it sort of entices you to go in this direction, which means you're going to walk over this way and get the whole town and the big castle behind here revealed to you as you go along. But I also just think it's one of the best angles of the castle here in general. You've got the four towers in a row like this. You can't really see the one behind, but you also just get a clear view through the arch, and I just think it looks beautiful. Now, as you move along in the path here, you're going to get to this section where you can just barely see the monastery up there over the mountain, but here you get a really awesome view where you can see all four of the towers and even even the fifth there in the background on the hill. You'll notice that none of them obstruct each other here, like they're all in full view, and in between these, we've got this one pretty much perfectly centered, so I think this was a pretty well-planned angle, and it looks awesome how it's all sort of slanted like this. It's very satisfying. And speaking of satisfying, I love how you can see the entire castle just in the fog back there. It, it makes this view a lot more epic. Now, if you were instead, for instance, coming from the other castle that's over there way in the distance, you would see the castle right here and this sight line admittedly is not as awesome, not as cool. Everything is just sort of bunched together over here and then you got this section. But I mean, come on, it looks pretty awesome with the mountaintop over there in the fog. So yeah, not quite the best angle, but still pretty cool. Now, if we do, however, take a flight all the way over to the lighthouse here, we get a view that you guys kind of haven't seen before. I mean, obviously you've seen this, but now that we have this tower completed, it looks a lot more homogenous. I'm just a lot more happy with the way these fit together. You can tell that they're kind of part of the same concept complex. And from here, you can just barely see the other towers peeking up, but it's really more these tops that are important. I also just kind of coincidentally love that this gap in the leaves here shows the old tower. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's just another one of those things to think about that some people are going to spawn in through the nether portal, depending on how they travel around in the future of this world. And so when you come back here and you walk far enough, you're going to be like, huh, I kind of want to explore that over there. Another great view to keep in mind is over here from the princess's room. We've got the little balcony and you just get a really awesome view of the full thing. You can almost see through the arch the same way as from spawn, but I think it looks awesome from here. And speaking of which, the other side of the valley here is really coming along now that we've filled all this in with fields and houses and stuff. I mean, we still need to do a bit more work over on this side with more trees and stuff, but yeah, this side's gonna look great, guys. Another thing I did think about a bit is how we approach the castle from up here. Obviously, we come in through this little valley right here and we get a view of this tower, but once we come up a little bit through the arch, we get a nice view of that peak up there. And so I know a lot of you guys have had questions about like, how do you plan sight lines? Well, it all comes down to just seeing things like this and being like, huh, I could put something really cool up there and it would make for a really cool screenshot. If we also come and approach the castle from this angle right here, obviously we get this view through the gate, which is pretty cool. But in the background, we also get the Ventia castle. So yep, this is pretty cool. All right, all right. Enough of me gassing up my own build and calling it awesome. I do love this view right here, however, where you see the monastery in the background sort of in between these two towers right here. But for now, I have another little question for you guys, because as you know, I'm building the entire entire castle over here in the village as a tutorial series, and that is making it kind of difficult to stay at pace. I said I was going to try to stay at pace, but uh, the upload schedule is getting kind of crazy now that I'm running a bunch of channels and stuff. But I want you guys to think about something. I want you to tell me something, because once I'm done with the tutorial series, I want to interior decorate this place. And so my question, I guess, is would you guys like me to do the full interior in a single episode or maybe break it up in two? Or should I just focus on making more business? builds over in Ventia, making more builds in the world in general, and then making like one room or two per episode, and we'll get done with the interior here eventually. Just basically, how do you want me to break up the interior building of this place? Definitely tell me in the comments below, because I am dying to get started with the interior of this place. It's going to be so awesome to have it completed. And what are you doing, buddy? That wall can't be that interesting. Well, at least it's good to see that you're making a home for yourself in the castle. It looks like zombies are making a home here too, because uh, no doors. 
So definitely keep that in mind. Let me know how you'd want me to do it, but let's get back to old Ventia. So ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I hope you're as happy with the final product of this place as I am. It really turned out awesome and better than I could have imagined. And as always, when I add something big like this to the world, it just makes me love this place more and more. Like not to get sentimental on you guys, but I'm just so proud and happy with what I've created here. It's really a place I love coming back to. And I really look forward to having all these mountain backsides finished and this side over here all of spawn as complete as all of this but with that said ladies and gentlemen i'm definitely running out of time for today i gotta get this video out for you guys so if you watched all the way to the end then you're the champ and i appreciate your existence and until we see each other next time have a good one